Missiles flying everywhere in the sky, bombs blowing up all around, families being dispossessed of their properties, and plenty of refugees fleeing the country. This is a picture no one wants in their country. However, for Ukraine, this has become a reality since Russia invaded the country. Putin made it clear that if anyone dared to interfere with their operation in Ukraine, they would suffer dire consequences, causing governments around the world to stay back. But one businessman decided he would lead when the world showed a lack of leadership, and that man is none other than Elon Musk. In this video, we take a look at how Elon Musk has established his position on the war between Russia and Ukraine. But before we reveal it all, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to mark today's register. Being the world's most successful and loved business person can weigh down on the best of people. This is due to the criticism that comes with it all. Musk has been accused of many things, including being labeled as someone who doesn't care about planet Earth or humanity. This has been due to his interest in Mars rather than ending poverty, even who has suggested that a small portion of his wealth could end poverty in the world. He challenged this by asking World Health Organization to draw up a plan on how this could be possible, which World Health Organization failed to do. In the recent events between Russia and Ukraine, he has shown his human side and willingness to go beyond the call of duty to play his part in creating peace. Some of his reactions have had a direct impact in establishing a conversation about the war and actions that help those who are affected by the war. He has proven why he is one of the best CEO in the world, and how he is not afraid to act on what he believes. At this point, it's choosing a side in the current war taking place. The side he has chosen is not as you would think, but watch this video till the end, and you will understand his stand on the war much better. It is in these times that we see true leaders, and currently, not many companies have shown interest in choosing a side and pronouncing their stand on the war. In fact, most companies that have had to close their services against Russia have not announced that they do so because they support Ukraine or condemn Russia. In fact, they go as far as saying that their non-support for services in Russia is due to the actions that have been implemented by the US. This means that if these sanctions were not there, services would go on as though nothing was happening. A more diplomatic approach taken by some companies has been that they do not involve themselves in politics and therefore are only concerned with their businesses. Elon Musk, however, has not reacted similarly to his peers. He has made his stand known on his public Twitter platform. This has proven that he is someone who cares about social issues in the world and would not hesitate to react to something he believes in. Instead of remaining neutral, he has decided to speak out and act out. It has now come to our attention that Elon Musk has been under pressure from some who feel that he should disable Tesla cars in Russia as a way to react to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Some of these requests come from social media platforms, particularly on Twitter where Musk is most active. The big question though is whether that would help anyone. While it is true that every action is taken, no matter how small, plays a role in crippling Russia. However, the impact of Tesla cars being disabled is pretty small. Tesla is not the most used car in Russia, and the president is not driving the car. It wouldn't have an impact on the important aspects of Russia's economy. Tesla technology or their cars also do not play a part in the war through machines or vehicles. Another disadvantage with Musk switching off Tesla cars is that it would send a very negative message to countries that have already embraced Tesla cars. This would mean that Musk would have power over any country that decides to use Tesla as their primary source of transportation. He would be one switch away from crushing any of these countries if they ever decide to do something that he doesn't like. No country would submit to such power, and this would destroy the chances of Tesla ever having a market on a global scale. Elon Musk has been clear on which side of the war he stands on, and as you may guess, he has sided with Ukraine. Instead of simply sending funds, he has used SpaceX Starlink satellites to help the country communicate and aid their special military operations, particularly for the intelligence department. This is a feature that will keep Ukraine up on its feet during the fight. Ukraine has also played its part in welcoming Musk's help in the war. This was obviously due to the fact that they had communicated a need for help from the Tesla CEOs, and this is the reason. He brought the satellite dishes as quickly as he could. Musk has also taken it upon himself to help refugees who were leaving the country. He has made charging around that region, which includes neighboring countries free. He has not personally traveled to Ukraine and he seems not to be planning to, however, his help shows that he is not in any way willing to side with Russia on the matter. 
Elon Musk did not show his support for Ukraine in private, but he made it public by announcing it. He went to Twitter and sent a message among his millions of followers, which read, Hold strong Ukraine. This message was well received by the country and its people. He added three Ukrainian flags to mark his message and make it clear that he sides with the country. This is where things get level-headed when he shows maturity. Not only did he side with Ukraine, but he also expressed sympathy to Russians who were not in favor of this. He went on to post, sympathies to the great people of Russia, who do not want this. This means that he was level-headed enough to know that there are many people in Russia who are also not in support of what their country is doing. Proof of this has been clear, with the Ukraine president surviving a few assassination attempts about four times throughout the war so far. It was revealed that the only reason he survived those assassinations was due to Russian soldiers who informed him of the attempts before they happened. Now, why would the Russian soldiers do that? It's because they are not in support of what is happening. It seems that citizens from both countries just want this war to end. The US has also resorted to placing sanctions on Russia, and Russia has taken notice of this. Russia has responded to these sanctions by threatening to stop supplying the US with engines for rockets. However, Elon Musk has proven to Russia that he is capable of creating rocket engines without their help. He launched SpaceX's Falcon 9. This was a clear message to Russia that Musk will not surrender his support for Ukraine because of engines, and that he is willing to create his own engine in the US to combat Russia's attempt to make the US change its mind about the sanctions. The US has to take note of Musk's skills when it comes to this and treat him as an important asset in the country. This proves that he can be useful should the US face anything similar to Ukraine. America is establishing itself as a force to be reckoned with, surprisingly by someone whom the government has failed to show love to due to politics. The Russian invasion has sent fears throughout Ukraine, and this is because most of the attacks were toward civilian spaces, and a lot of innocent people were killed. This included some premiers and mayors. They went as far as holding down the city of Mariupol. Much of the reasons for this attack were based on Russia accusing Ukraine of placing its military on its borders. But we know there is more to the story. Russia wants to take over Ukraine, and it's not a secret. The fight seemed as though it would end soon with Russia's powerful army. However, help coming for people like Elon Musk has helped Ukraine give Russia a good fight and hold them back as they intend to hold more cities in Ukraine. It actually proves that billionaires do have a heart. Now, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let us know your thoughts about today's video in the comments section below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.